treat man bad, true enough. But they too goddamn bad, beat it up. No, say you're that my girl, but you run now. Remember how you say you want me? Send girl on my yard, come call me. Tell somebody, no, say you got that body. Hey, baby, I don't really know what you want, no. Maybe you can show me what you gon' do. And we can turn up if you want to. Dance all night if you want to. Jeans all night if you want to. Change your whole life on the door. Eu vou falar em português para praticar meu português porque hoje eu tenho minha exame oral e eu estou muito nervosa e eu estou muito nervosa porque eu não me preparei muito bem e é toda minha culpa sabe mas eu espero que tudo vai ficar bem porque se não fica bom gente sério eu vou chorar um... Sim, um, I'm gonna go now because I have to print out some stuff. My answers to these questions that they gave us a couple of days ago and make sure that I'm practicing them on my way to the exam. Like, I'm really, 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 really nervous. I've made some coffee even and I'm literally making a YouTube video and I'm not prepared. Like, hopefully, hopefully it goes well. I'm back home. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it didn't go horribly, but it also didn't go excellently. So it was a medium slay. Medium slay. Um, I'm gonna eat and chill because after that, I deserve to chill. So yeah, I'll see you like my next exam, which is exactly in a week's time on yeah so it's exactly in a week's time from now that's the next exam i'm gonna be writing so you'll see me a week from now this make not makeup eyeliner look i'm not sure i'm not sure if i like it but at this point like i don't care i'm just going to study like it's not just got back home it's so late it's 1940s can you even see that how cute is this mask i stole it from my mom i don't know if i should order food but i think i'm gonna be responsible and eat the food that i have in my fridge <laughs> I don't know which video is gonna go up first. Me dyeing my hair blonde for this one. But anyway, I had two braids in and I thought I was gonna like brush my hair and tie it back, but honestly, I think this looks kind of cute. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and then just do a little thing and clip it here and then go write my exam. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna clip it back because it's just not giving, like, I'm running out of time, I need to go. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm gone. I hope this exam goes well. Need to pass. Needs to be excellent. I used to smoke all in the shed. Women in my head, I was short sighted. Fighting what I believe and got personal in these verses. The shit was what I needed. Open up and had the crowd leaning. I tried to talk after, and they stood me up. It's the same base me. You don't fuck no. I Hi, besties. That exam was interesting i feel like it's one of those where <laughs> it could really go in either direction it's either like i did I, i'm not even gonna say extremely well it's, it's either i did like a little bit above average or i did like horribly i it's done though it's done though that's what matters now i'm gonna 
I thought I was gonna go into upper campus today to study, but I'm just gonna <laughs> rest. Um, I'm gonna cook, I think, and then I might do some laundry. I don't. Might do some laundry, and then I'm just gonna chill and study later on this night. Which is fine, and study later on this night. But yeah, it was. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to get my hopes up too high, and I don't want to be too negative either. Um, I truly do not know. We'll see. Just wanna say, don't mistake you for me talking loud or rub me the wrong way. Take me back to the. Hi everyone, I hope that this lighting is good. I am literally burning and I've put my phone in a sock because that's what I see a lot of people doing for better audio. So I hope, this, I hope that this helps and hopefully I'll be able to sync my audio um, to the camera so that the audio is better hopefully. But I am here to speak about the shit show <laughs> that my exam season became after I wrote that last, that, the previous exam. So basically, after that, everything went downhill, and I'm here to speak about what happened and not how I could have prevented it, but how I can do better next time. Hi, I'm changing the sock because this whitish sock is just not giving. The first exam where I everything started going downhill was my South African private law exam. And child, oh. the main problem for this exam is that I didn't, I didn't have prepare enough. I wasn't well prepared because tell me why I get to the exam and I open the question paper. And the first question is something from a tutorial that we had done that we were told to focus on. And I didn't. So I'm opening the exam paper. First question, I'm blank. I'm starting to panic. Fine. <laughs> and this exam was like late during the day. Okay, fine. Um, I kind of skipped that, whatever, whatever, try to pull stuff from somewhere. And then I get to the part of the exam, which were like mini essays. So sorry, I'm looking at myself, not at the camera, which were mini essays. So, um, they were like 10 marks each, whatever. And there was a 30 mark question. I skipped a 30 mark question. It was a case, case law question. I did not know the case. I did not know the case and it wasn't um, the situation where you can just kind of guess things. Well, I did guess a two mark question, but that was about it. Um, and I was like, I have literally never seen this case before in my life. So I was like, fine. Um, I left the exam early because I was like, even if I try to guess for 30 marks, I literally couldn't guess anything. So I left the exam venue. I called my friend. I'm like, yeah, like I fucked up. <laughs> um and then later during on there was like a thing with people in the group saying that they also didn't know the case so i felt less alone and there were a lot of people saying they skipped the question and now they're trying to get like a remark or like i don't know if they're going to take the question out because a lot of people did not know that that case i don't know what's happening with that but so the next exam was my politics exam and it was online thankfully and i felt kind of prepared for this exam even though i didn't really study for it but throughout the semester i was keeping track of stuff because they had a lot of like weekly quizzes that we had to do so i wasn't really bamboozled i wasn't shocked you know i kind of knew the work i got in there um and we had like one essay and the rest of the questions were like multiple choice questions i feel like i did well um so yeah, the only thing, the only problem <laughs> with this exam is that I literally did it at like 2 a.m. in the morning and then I had to sleep and my next, and then when I woke up, I slept like three hours and then when I woke up, I had to go to my next exam. So it was really stressful. I was drinking a lot of energy drinks <laughs> through this period. It was not a fun time. And then... I did my Portuguese written exam. <laughs> I love my professor. That paper, I think that was easily the best paper I've ever written in university. Like we, so this year for Portuguese, I'm doing mainly literature. So we read a lot of short stories. I'm speaking like probably 16 short stories that we did. 
it was a lot <laughs> um so i couldn't get time to go through all of them in depth but that ended up not mattering and because she really asked kind of like basic questions and then the essay topics that she gave us the choices were excellent the only problem is i almost ran out of time because we had to write like an 800 word essay which is not a lot it's not a lot if you're writing it in english but if you're writing it in portuguese it's like girl <laughs> I, we, we she told us to bring dictionaries so we all had dictionaries and i was flipping through that thing like every minute or a second trying to find the words that i was trying to use but i ended up having like 700 and something words so i was i was happy with that and the last exam is foundations of south african law which um, it was okay i also didn't really prepare well for that but i feel like it was fine so i feel like i used to like but i don't like anymore because why are you giving me 50 multiple choice questions in one test one exam like i was mad uh yeah <laughs> that exam was a mid it was like five out of ten you know the experience five out of ten Four. so closing remarks final thoughts everyone that i've spoken to about this semester did not enjoy it i don't think it was a fun time for anyone we were not thriving it was not festive i think that <laughs> and you know the worst thing is i don't think it's second semester is going to be better um so for me personally notes for me is just i just need to start taking my work more seriously and i've realized the thing about law now is it's it's you can do the work you can do the readings you can feel like you understand things but you also might be a hundred percent wrong about your understanding of things and the way that you feel like you you've taken in the information because my first my first law test i was like yeah i'm so ready like i know the work and i left that exam venue feeling so happy about myself i was like yes and then my mark came back and i was like what's what's a giving so i think from next semester i really just need to i don't even know what i can do i just need to probably do more practice questions and look at past papers and stuff like that and just go over my work more than once like repetition and stuff like that i feel like that will help me because this term i had semester i had no extra time to go over my work again after i went um through my work in class and then also um i think this coming semester everything is going to be in person so that last semester i had to go onto campus like four times a week because they were the classes were also being uploaded online which i thought was good at first but then towards the end i ended up not attending any classes at all because i was like everything's gonna be online which i feel like going in person really like forces you and it puts that pressure on you to be up to date so that's what i think i'm gonna do and then also not like mess around i actually need to focus on my work and also i have two jobs so that was also taking up my time um so i need to actually prioritize you know my work and the fire is dying out but it's fine i'm not even gonna put more wood because i am burning so i feel like that will help me next semester and also to be more consistent on youtube because the reason why i haven't uploaded in so long is because i was so burnt out by the time the semester ended i was like i really don't want to do anything i just want to chill and every time i opened my laptop to edit i just wasn't up to it so then i was like okay i'm just not gonna i'm just not gonna upload a video and that's that so actually let me let me put wood okay so that's gonna come back on but yeah, I hope that if anyone's in first year or anything or anyone's thinking about coming to university, I hope that um, they learn from my mistakes and actually prep well, over prepare for your exam. Actually, that's my new mantra from next semester. I'm going to over prepare for everything because... <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video and I have planned couple more videos but i just haven't filmed them yet but i have the plans down so hopefully i'm going to be more consistent and you're actually going to get a video next today's sunday 
today is sunday so i think i'm gonna upload this video today and then you're gonna get more videos um thank you so much again for watching thank you for supporting please leave a comment subscribe if you would like to and i'll see you in the next one ciao ready baby i don't really know what you want though maybe you can show me what you can do